What's good, champions of 4 frame? The top G4 frame is here with another meta. This is a pro tier. Now, it's so weird because we got Wisp Prime, but in the expected Wisp, you're gonna be shining and rising and all that kind of thing. But instead, we got pro tier becoming the new meta because it received the new augment, which I hope something like this happened to Wisp one day. Check this out. Temporal Erosion, Temporal Anchor Augment. While Temporal Anchor is active, each strike, grenade, fan, and blaze artillery strips 10% armor from enemies. If you know Protea, you would know how fast, how... Um, it's very quick. It's really crazy, alright? Let me show you. First of all, Protea abilities. First thing is her passive. Every fourth uh, power cast is granted 100% ability strength. Grenade fan. This one, if you tap, you're gonna create... Slashing wave, if you hold, you're gonna create shield for you and your teammates. Blaze artillery, deploy an artillery. This is like guns you deploy. There you go. It have a high range, very powerful, does uh, heat damage. Now imagine it's crazy. Stripping and heat is a crazy combo. Dispensary, it's gonna give you pickups, uh, orbs, and ammo, and energy. Now we have temporal anchor. This is the augment for the, uh, the augment is for this one. This one, uh, think about it like this. You cast it. All right, you cast it and you go do whatever you do you do when it finish it brings you back all the way like to the past where you start simple as uh, that okay let's go so this is the protea build i'm gonna show you the build from the beginning so you have an idea what's going on what's up growing power this is pure protea the reason why this is pure protea because in the past we used to remove her temporal anchor for example let me show you offensive strip i put the terrify here defense is the destruction i put the um uh, resonator here and so on but now it's very complicated because her kit based on the temporal erosion is coming so powerful as you can use offensive strip still if you just want to terrify enemies and strip them immediately but I would rely on her kit. I love frames when their kit goes together all. Like uh, it, it makes it a perfect uh, war frame. So growing power. Uh, applying statue effect with weapons increase. Ability strength by 25%. Prime sure footed so you don't fall in, in the ground. And enemies get mm, kill the guy. You know prime continuity. Prime flow. Archon vitality. Uh, statue effect from ability that deal heat damage will apply twice. That's very important. Uh, equilibrium. Uh, Health becomes energy, energy becomes health, but Arcane Energize doesn't care about that, so every time you're gonna become health, it's gonna be energy, every time you become energy, it's gonna become health, but it's gonna become energy as well from Arcane Energizer, Overextend, uh, Temporal Erosion, Blind Rage, and Rolling Guard to cleanse yourself from any static effects the enemy can apply on you. Alright, we're gonna run in 155 duration, 45 efficiency thanks to Dispensary, range 190, strength 139. Let's go. Okay. So, pretty very simple, very easy to use. I'm gonna show you what I mean with uh, coming back in time. All right, so you've cast the fourth ability. You have 12 seconds to do whatever you want. You run around, you do whatever. Now look, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, and here we go. You go back all the way in time. That's exactly that. So. What this about is every time this ability is active, you're going to be stripping enemies with the first and second ability. The first ability, if you tap, there you go, you're gonna create this slash effect. If you hold, you're gonna create this grenades, which gives you uh, extra overshield. There you go, simple as that. Now, the second ability gonna give you this gun right here. Test another one, test another one. There you go, three guns, there you go. Boom, 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 boom. See that now check how far they shoot you see that how far they shoot it's really crazy from here they're already shooting enemies that's how powerful protea is okay now the third ability is very simple you put the flower in the ground this flower gonna give you ammo energy and health there you go that's the health and equilibrium will give you uh because in this game why we use equi equilibrium because health drops more than uh, energy so every two health orbs gonna be one energy so Using equilibrium is very, very, very good, for, especially for frames that energy hangry. Yeah. All right. So, let me show you the weapon effect. So, how to know enemies are armor stripped is where, where, when they become their HP become red. That means their armor is stripped. So, let me put the abilities without uh, enemies. Look at that. Boom, boom, boom. Slashing. Boom, boom, boom. Now look, look at them. And if I just hit the fourth ability, 
armor strip immediately. Immediately. Sometimes we say, oh, Hank, why don't you use uh, Terrify? Why it's armor strip immediately? This one armor strip immediately as well. All you have to do is having enough from your first ability active and the fourth ability active. Look at this. You see the, the field that you created? All you have to do, let me summon the enemies. Look, summoning the enemies. Look at them. They are not armor strip. Boom. Armor strip. Easy. One shot. And without relying on anything else uh, from any other uh, Warframe. That, what I love my friend. Like, um, frames that rely on their kit. With this, Protea becoming one of the meta uh, in uh, Warframe. Now, of course, you can boost this even stronger with high SD. This means that you're gonna push for high duration and high strength. The range is gonna be low, but you need to get so close to enemies. I don't recommend this build for you as it's more into close range, which you're gonna be dying most of the time. So use pure uh, Protea for now. Now, you're gonna say, Hank, if I want a Helmnith uh, Protea, what, what should I do? Which ability I should uh, remove? Well, to be honest with you, I don't think you should remove anything now. Uh, at least for now, I don't think there is any useless ability protea you have at this moment because all of them works perfectly. The only way you would, let's say, helm with her is you remove the fourth ability, uh, which is the one that uh, got boosted now with uh, Ogmon, and you put Resonator, you put uh, uh, Terrify, you put uh, anything, anything that you think of. All right, nourish or whatever you want to use. Okay, so yeah, that's the Protea boost uh, that came with Echoes of the Viri. I mean, Echoes of the Viri meant for Wisp. Wisp uh, uh, Protea got boosted. It is what it is. I want to say, guys, thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you like this build. Did you know about the Ogmon? Because they hid it in the patch note and so on. But I knew about it. I wanted to finish the hype of the weapons and stuff and uh, Wisp Prime. And then I released for you Sunday the Protea uh, Og new Ogmon. And she's the new meta. Big love to you all. And see you next time. Oh.